Hey everyone, welcome back. Now, so far I've given you an introduction to collections and generics. Now in this tutorial, we are going to look at the benefits of using generics. Now there are two main benefits of generics. The first one is it provides type safety and the other one is it eliminates the need for typecasting. Now let's look at these two points in detail. So the first point is provides type safety. Now let us consider a normal array. Let's say you create an array of integer and you add some data to it. Okay. So this is the way you add data to a normal array. So at index zero, we have integer nine at index one, we have 12. Now, both of these are integers, right? But if you try to add some other type of data to an integer array, let's say you try to add a string, then in this case, you'll get a compile time error. Okay. So if you create an array of integer, then you will only be able to pass integer type of data to it. This is what we call as being type safe. So arrays are type safe. But if you consider an array list or rather a non generic version of array list, then we know that internally it uses an object array. Okay. And an object class is at the root of the Java class hierarchy. And that is the reason why a non generic version of array list will accept any type of data. Okay. So we can pass a uh, integer type of data to it. We can pass string or Boolean or any other type of data. Okay. So an array list is not type safe. Now, how do we get type safety for an array list? So this is where generics come into picture. Okay. So generics provide us type safety. For example, if you create an array list of integer, then it will not allow you to pass any other type of data. Okay. So, uh, let's say you add some integer type of data to it, then uh, again, an integer. And now in this case, if you try to pass some string uh, type of data, then you'll get a compile time error. Similarly, in case of Boolean, you'll get a compile time error. Okay. So an array list of integer will only accept integer type of data, which gives us type safety. Now let's look at the second benefit of using generics. That is it eliminates the need for typecasting. To explain this, let us consider an integer array again. Let's add some data to it. Now, if you want to access data from this array and store it in a variable, then you simply have to do something like this. Okay. So you create a variable V, and then you load the value of this array at index zero into that variable. Okay. Now let us consider a non generic version of array list. Again, let's add some data to it. Now in this case, if you want to access data from this array list, you can't write something like this. Okay. You will get a compile time error. And that is because this get method over here, it has a return type as object. So it will return you an object type of data. Now, if you know that the data which you have entered is an integer, then you will have to do typecasting over here. Okay. So you'll have to do something like this. Okay. Int V is equal to integer list dot get zero. Okay. So you're telling the compiler that I know that the data which I've entered is an integer. So I'm casting it. Okay. So you'll have to do typecasting over here. Okay. But if you create an array list of integer or a generic version of array list, then in this case, you, uh, when you try to access the data or retrieve the data, there is no need of typecasting. Okay. You can directly access the data like this. Okay. Similar to a normal array. So that is the benefit which we get by using generics. So yeah, that's it guys. These were the two main benefits of using generics. So thank you for watching and see you in my next tutorial.